So basically this is the train which I've been working on. It can go in all directions, up, down, left, right, forward, back. Um, did you want to be a passenger? Because it's got gravity and, and build blocks for crossing sector boundaries, even Just though it doesn't sure do that yet. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's only a short track. So basically, Zorax in my train, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to reverse here oh. onto the track. Now, it does go in all directions, but uh, there was a glitch with the export, and uh, I lost the bit of the track that we're going over right now. But as you can see, it will go forwards. See, the purple things indicate where the white track used to be. So it will go forwards and back along that track, right? And there's just imagine the white hull in between those purple bits. And then when we get into this area, you'll notice that there's a gap. And if I stop here and go up, now we've got up and down, yeah? So we can have a track going up and down there. And then finally, the bit of the track which we can actually show you is the left right, which is done. So obviously off we go this way. Okay, who was the one that was showing me the planet? And we'll stop. Uh, Asmos. Comes to two and then steps. back the other way. That's my base. And then we'll head over to that. So time. as you can see, Straight past the junction, uh, no problem. To me, no, my base is, uh, and there we go. So I, I plan to basically do this. I plan to make this track go from one end of the sector to the other end of the sector in all directions, mainly so that I know how much room I've got to work with with my home sector, but also so that I've got a way to get around and I could build ancillary stations around the sector and then get to them all with people nice and quick. Kind of cool. Not far off from what my original idea was, which was to put four stations in one sector. That's cool. But that was under the assumption that sectors were still 3,000 meters cubed. I'll take us back to the uh, station then. He says as he crashes. <laughs> just, just make it fit. There you go. So yeah, that's my star made train, I'm just going to take a little closer look at the junction here, as you can see it's just got a gap going in each direction and then the main rail actually goes through the cabin. So that's that's how I did that. And uh, then obviously the track's really basic, you know, it's very simple construction. But it's just a quick way to get around without needing a ship and you can obviously all go as a group. So there you go, just thought it needed something to connect the place up. And um, the first actual station that goes straight where you're looking now stops above the hangars for the uh, race. So obviously people, I could get all the pilots in the train, take them above, and then they can use gravity to drop down into their boxes. <laughs> so yeah. We also came up with baseball. Interesting. Did you hear we came up with baseball last night? I thought we already had that with the rainbow baseball bat. Oh, there, guys. we made it really small though. Uh, and my hypermonolith turrets. Yeah, but this one isn't like so big that it induces crashes. This is like a six block ship that has a little bat on it and you get someone to sit in it and spin and then they hit, the co hit a core and the core goes flying. And obviously, you know, we're thinking that could be used for mini games in gravity. I find out. My uh, base is done and ready. Ooh. What's your name, by the way? Zorak. Nice. Okay, so we've got him going round the track. Oh, what happened to you? I, I sh it's hard. <laughs> it's hard when you've got instant acceleration. Oh. Just gotta take it easy on the corners. It's me up. Uh. Really quickly, can we do uh, my monster? Hey, hey, hey. Oh! You go <laughs> yeah, he just kind of that. I saw that. Right, that's it. I'm adding power to this. I raise you one standard competition racer. Oh! I missed the post. Uh, I'm gonna apply my tactics since I've done this race before. Actually, in in the same sort of size ships, I was practicing. Tommy now. Yes. 
Did any of the ships got saved from the uh, previous server or is everything lost? Log into it at dev.mushroomfleet.co.uk colon 4242 and you tell me. Uh, but only admins could get into there. True, but I could get him whitelisted again. Yeah, that's true. I might actually just do that, put a whitelist request up so people can get in and save their ships. What you doing? I'm just watching yeah, this guy get go get around the 8 track. Well, uh, let me first He's doing really good now, you got this track down. I'm gonna join him again. Okay, any of you guys got Battlefield free? Oh, I get not know. Well, that was a bit unexpected. Oh, damn, I bust the turn and he's won. There you go. I love Wait, it. do we have a chance to go on the server and save our ships? Because they have a really, really small ship, I think. That is and what I just said, yeah. Um, what you want to do is tell me your name and I'll get you whitelisted in a sec. 